to the Grand Canyon for the first time by train. I'm Plant Daddy, and I'm traveling by train. And I want to take you with me. On this journey so far, we've taken the highest train in America, the Cog Railway, the most scenic train, the Durango Steam Train, and for our last stop on this adventure, we're taking a ride on the Grand Canyon Railway. This is Train Bros. On our way to Arizona, we decided to cross off another bucket list item that I didn't even know that was on the agenda, a visit to Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde National Park is in the Southwest Colorado area. It is known for its well-preserved ancestral pueblo cliff dwellings, notably the huge Cliff Palace. After leaving Colorado, we made it to Utah. I've always wanted to see this state by car and the views didn't disappoint. After that, we stayed the night in Utah and headed to Arizona in the morning. The Grand Canyon Railway is based out of Williams, Arizona, which is a beautiful town that's an easy two and a half hour drive from Phoenix. When we arrived, we were greeted with an old timey shootout. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> My hands are up. <laughs> That was great. Time to hop on that train, my own. The declining ridership due to the popularity of the automobile led the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway to seize passenger service of the Grand Canyon Railway in July of 1968. But private investors purchased the line in 1988, restored the facilities, and started running the passenger service train again on September 17, 1989. Here you go, Your first class ticket. Thank you, man. Enjoy your trip to the Grand Canyon, <laughs> my first time. <laughs> On the ride up to the Grand Canyon, we decided to ride in the first class dome car. And when we return from the Grand Canyon, we'll be riding in a 1920s Arab Pullman open window car. But unfortunately, we got a little behind schedule. Oh man, we're running late, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Going to the Grand Canyon. Dome car, dome car. <laughs> we can't be late. Made it. I'm so tired. We're late. Go ahead. Into the Thank next you. car and up Thank the you. stairs. You. You. Watch your hands up there. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're one Looks like my grandma's house. This is swanky and fancy. There's a lounge down here, and our seats are up there. Uh, I don't know yet. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Just the two of you then? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. You're our last two. That mean these seats are open? Look at so we've got two, two seats here. Oh, couch area. We are all here, all 35 of us. My name is Bridget. It is my pleasure to be your car attendant today here at the Grand Canyon Railway. But by the time and you we're off. Troublemakers. So Bridget was telling us that the views get really incredible at mile marker 56. So this is my first time in Arizona and I've always thought that the majority of Arizona had just red rocks and it was dry, but right here we're coming through quite a few uh, cedar trees, I would say. I'm gonna head to the cheap car. It's kind of tight here in the train. Thank you. And this is what makes train travel so amazing. You can't do this on a plane. You only sit in the seat on the plane, go on the train, you either get out and smell some fresh air, mountain views, amazing people, snacks, space, room to move around. I'll catch a train any day. This train is powered by two diesel locomotives. It's over a thousand people on this train. There's a native behind me. He's from a tribe in Wyoming, and he's singing a spiritual song right now. So beautiful. This train only has one viewing platform, but Mike and I didn't mind because it really gave you the feeling of being on an old-timey railway. And after taking that feeling for a while, we decided to treat ourselves with some mimosas. Cheers, cheers. 
What's really great is there's a guy in the front of our train that are singing old songs that remind me of the West. So it's taking me back into time, I feel. I like it. I feel like we're on the range. We're on the range. Jack, this is the perfect music. The cows are running. They're trying to get away from the train. <laughs> this is my second most of Mikey's bringing these up. I'm going to be laid out on the train. We are told that these are some of the best views that are coming up on mile marker 54 and 56. So whenever you are riding the Grand Canyon train, come to the back and get ready for these epic views. We just passed mile marker 59, so we have entered Grand Canyon National Park. Uh, another bucket list I've crossed off. Hey, Look at Mike. Birthday? He's always oh, making friends. Who is the birthday girl? Who's your birthday? Whose birthday is it? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And it's my 50th. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Like, oh, wild horses. Oh. Wow. <gasps> that was it. That's the Grand King. That was it. That was it. Your first shot. Wow. Which direction do you recommend going? To this the red or to the orange? Yeah. It, I mean, oh, it, this one? What, it you, what are you doing here? We saw Mercy, you. don't oh. scare me like that. Oh, my Sorry. God. Don't rob me. I'm ready. Oh, we can Don't do rob me. Are you a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Bridget. It's just your midget. <laughs> he is either direction that you go. Your okay. views do, you know, okay. you, you have an 18 you. mile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. You have an 18 mile view here. If you're going this way, you kind of don't. That's a little narrow. Okay, perfect. But you're going to be happy no matter which way you go. Thank you. Wherever you're at on the rim trail, you have a view of the canyon. Spectacular. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, time to explore the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Thought I left my jacket on board, but Mike, I was having my back. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have everything of yours in the backpack right now. So Mike fun. has a lot of junk in his trunk. <laughs> See you later. We just hopped off. There's a lot going on. There are some people on a train that are actually going to take tour buses around the Grand Canyon and they stop at very special points and they give a history and a brief overview of the area. Mike and I have decided to just go and explore, be nomads, and do some adventure. Welcome to Train Bros! <laughs> we just hopped off the train here at the Grand Canyon. So here, you see the train that we get off of, and they split the trains right here in the middle so you can walk through. Oh. Wow! <laughs> oh, this is crazy! To see this? Wow! So huge! Wow. <laughs> hey, little squirrel. Oh. Oh. He's, he's looking, probably looking for food. Of course. He's looking for, for some, He's looking for some food from us. You just said you want pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I made our way towards the observation trail. We hiked for about a mile when we arrived to our destination. And needless to say, the views were stunning. You know, I've been lucky enough to visit a lot of these beautiful places. And what's great is that every place I go has something new to offer. That's what's great about traveling. It never gets old. The views never stop taking your breath away and the adventure never ceases to amaze. This is what life is about. Seeing views like this. Look how deep this is. Look how deep this is. Teddy Roosevelt once stated that the Grand Canyon Railway was a sight that every American should see. And I must agree. After taking in these views, Mike and I decided to have a quick lunch before heading back to the train. What do you eat when you come to the Grand Canyon? Lunch was great. It's time to get back on the train. Mike and I headed back to the train, this time riding in a 1920s era Pullman open window car. We hopped on board. I took a quick pit stop and the train took off. And in the true 1920s era fashion, we were entertained by a man in a top hat and best playing a guitar and singing some great classic country songs. When I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. Wow! Whoa! But 
Not everything about this ride was happy-go-lucky. Hey, what are you gonna oh, do to going us, on? man? Train oh, robbers. Oh, no, oh. Hey! 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 He's going to fire himself! Oh, no! Let me hide my Apple Watch and my necklace. I know, right? <laughs> and just like that, we're back in Williams, Arizona. But the video is not finished yet. Mike has a surprise for me. The Grand Canyon Railway was easily a 10 out of 10. The views, the people, the theatrics, and the Grand Canyon itself was all so gratifying. So I'm happy to say that this train is officially Train Bros approved. After hopping off the train, Mike then took me for a little surprise, a stop at the center of the historic Route 66. Route 66 was America's first all-weather highway, linking Chicago to Los Angeles. It felt like this whole section was frozen time in the best way possible. While checking it out, Mike and I decided to cap off the day by enjoying some refreshing beers in a classic dive bar. Cheers. After that, we headed back to our hotel, went to bed, and headed to the airport in the morning to wrap up this amazing journey. So this is it. This is it. And this is it, y'all. We've wrapped to the airport, Phoenix. Mike, you see the tears. This is it. Our trip has come to the end. Yeah. You've helped me cross off so many bucket lists. Yeah, man. From top of the Cog Rail to the Durango to seeing the Grand Canyon on the Grand Canyon. Man, you're an amazing friend. You deserve it. Thank you so much. No problem. You all deserve it. You all deserve a friend like Will. And if you love this video, make sure you check out Mike's channel. Mike has a lot of amazing train Bye, videos. Mike. There's Mike. Oh. Woo! This has been a journey, and I'm so thankful that you were able to come along with us. Until next time, y'all, peace.